This is a bit crazy. It seems like just yesterday when the 802.11 AC standard was announced and everyone was freaking out about how fast the first 1300 megabits per second router was going to be. Well, after five years, TP-Link has something to say about that. Now, even though 802.11 AC has been a standard for the past five years, it's surprising just how few people are actually using it. Sure, it can offer some amazing speeds, but the two main downsides compared to 802.11N are the slightly shorter range and the slightly higher price. As a result, most people are perfectly happy with a maximum bandwidth of 300 megabits per second. After all, the average home internet speed, according to speedtest.net, is just 55 megabits per second. However, that's just a basic use case scenario for the average user. Here at NCIX Tech Tips, we're all about overkill. So here's the new TP-Link Talon AD7200 802.11AD router. Yes, you heard us right. It's the first 802.11AD Ygig router released with a maximum bandwidth of 7200 megabits per second. Let's have a quick tour of the outside, shall we? All things considered, it's actually a pretty subtle design compared to some of the spider or spaceship looking routers from other companies. The Talon AD7200 is basically a square with eight antennas that flip out from the center and a mesh cover on top for ventilation. At a glance, you wouldn't have any idea that this was the fastest consumer router on the market right now. On the front, you'll find about a bazillion blue status LEDs and three buttons, one for turning on and off Wi-Fi, one for Wi-Fi protected setup, and one that we wish literally every other device had, a button that turns on and off all the LEDs. <laughs> on the back, you'll find two USB 3.0 ports, an internet input, four ethernet outputs, power adapter, and power button. It should be noted that this router does not support port remapping, so you can't use any of the ethernet ports as another input for teaming. On the underside, you'll find more mesh ventilation and two holes for wall mounting. However, for this router, you'll ideally want to place it on a surface horizontally, so not angled up like this. If you wall mount it, the antennas can't actually pivot upwards, but if you really want it, those mounting holes are there. Because this is America. It's, it's actually, can't bear it. Can you put, it's Canada? Th thanks. And finally, let's dig into the guts of this router, that 802.11 AD frequency band. In case you're not familiar, this standard runs on the 60 gigahertz frequency. Now you might think, ooh, 60 gigahertz, that must be fast. Well, sort of. There are some pros and cons. Let's start with the positives. 60 gigahertz is very rarely used by other devices, so there's almost zero interference. It's also capable of a maximum bandwidth of 4,600 megabits per second, which by itself is faster than the combined frequency bands on most other routers out there. However, there's one pretty significant drawback. 60 gigahertz radio waves can't pass through walls, just like people. Non-X-Men people, anyway. So to enjoy those sweet 802.11 AD speeds, you need to be in the same room as the router. The signal can bounce off walls, also just like people, but ideally you want line of sight with the router to achieve max speed. So at this point you might be wondering, uh, so what's the point? The way we see it, the TP-Link Talon AD7200 is a very specific router for a specific audience. If you're just an average home user looking to fill your entire house with Wi-Fi for your devices, then you're much better off saving your money and getting something cheaper. However, if you're a power user running an event or need to transfer a lot of big files to a lot of different devices frequently, then this is pretty much perfect. Imagine with me a scenario, if you will. We're at CES, we've shot an entire day's worth of footage, we go back to the hotel, Jack copies all the files onto his laptop. When that's done, he starts editing a video. Barrett and I both start copying all the files to our laptops as backups. While that's transferring, we start editing a video each using the files from the shared folder. In the meantime, Julia scrubs through footage on her laptop looking for awesome still shots to post on social media, Anthony's downloading additional B-roll we need and uploading previous videos, and on top of all that, we're all browsing the internet double-checking media media kits, and probably streaming music. Now in that scenario, this router alone saves us over an hour of just sitting around and lets us all do work at the same time. We've essentially created a portable, wireless, gigabit file server with one single device. And don't forget, alongside the 802.11 AD band, the Talon still has 2600 megabits per second bandwidth on the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands as well for all of your regular devices. Now conclusion time. Do we think the TP-Link Talon AD7200 is the perfect router? 
Well, it all depends on whether or not you have any 802.11 AD devices. It's kind of like an EVGA hydro video card. Sure, it's ridiculously fast, but it won't do you any good if you're putting it into an air-cooled system. The Talon is the same thing. Without an 802.11 AD device, its capabilities are put to waste. And as of right now, there's only one Acer Travelmate notebook that has native support. So for now, we think it's a great proof of concept in a market that's not quite developed enough yet. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and click here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And bonus tip, all of these spider-looking routers make great toys for children. Whoa, here comes the spider. And for adults who are children at heart.